Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hi YouTube, I'm Chris Perillo and this is your Geek Out for June 1st, 2012. If you work in an IT department, you know how challenging it could be to make sure all of your systems are up and running, whether they're servers or desktops. So check out GoToAssist from Citrix. Head over to GoToAssist.com, click the Try It Free button, and use the promo code Perillo. 10 Creative Uses for Google Plus Hangouts. Come on guys, if you're not yet on Google Plus, what are you waiting for? So some ideas we have for you in the article. Role-playing games, group workouts, dance classes, private concerts, Lego set building. It's how I do it sometimes. I mean, building Lego sets. Moron free office suites. Office on a stick. Now when I said moron, I didn't mean moron. I mean more on free office suites. And if you're still paying for office software, you're living in the 90s, man. That's just not really what people are doing these days. You could either use Google Docs and never install anything, or you could use Office Live and still never really pay anybody for getting your work done in a word processing document, a spreadsheet, a presentation. I think the days of paying for office software are long gone. Should you be worried about RFID skimming? So an RFID tag could be used to identify a product. And there have been cases where someone could use a scanner and scan an RFID tag without you knowing that they actually scanned it. That's why RFID can be scary. I mean, privacy implications aside. Uh, this is something that you may want to look into. Do you even know if you have products that have RFID tags? in them? Your credit card could have been scanned by an RFID scanner and you wouldn't even know it. I mean, unless you were watching your credit card statement, which I recommend everybody does. It's really simple to do no matter which credit cards you carry. Although I do recommend that you do not live on credit. If you can't afford to buy something, don't. Can mobile tech make you more productive? I know that if I'm going to be away from my home office, which is where I get most of my work done, uh, having the smartphone on me or a tablet computer that's extremely lightweight will help me do what I need to do 95% of the time. And with more and more apps becoming readily available, um, the days of the desktop are extremely numbered, at least as far as software and the need for software is concerned. There are extreme cases, certainly. But uh, in my opinion, absolutely. If you do not have the right smartphone for you, you're kind of dumb. And I'm not saying that you're dumb for not carrying a smartphone. Windows 7's accessibility features, something that most people don't think about, although you, you should note that uh, uh, GeekWire just published a perspective on Windows 8 and how Todd Bishop is not very impressed with how it works on the desktop, not that some other people had published videos of their father fumbling through the Windows 8 desktop experience a few months ago or anything, but uh, told you so. How to play a custom map in Minecraft. Well, we published more information for you if you are a Minecraft addict. Me, not so much. The Stuxnet worm was crafted by the US and Israel to thwart Iran's nuclear program. And now it's completely out of control. So apparently our government and other governments are sanctioning the use of cyber warfare. What could go wrong? I mean, it's just computer code, right? I mean, it's gonna know that it's only going to attack computers that are in this country, right? Because the internet is divided by boundaries, right? Google applies for .google, .docs, .youtube, and .lol top-level domains. .wtf? I don't care how many .whatevers they come up with. I think people are just accustomed to going to .com. And maybe that'll change when we come up with a super index. You know, not having to worry about where you're getting the information from. Dot .this, dot .that, dot .the other thing. Buy a Windows PC now and get Windows 8 Pro for $15 as soon as it comes out. So don't hold off. If you see a great deal for a PC, of course a Windows PC as Microsoft wants it to be, then buy it. Don't wait for Windows 8. You can get a PC today, get Windows 8 for $15. That's a pretty good deal, so long as you find a pretty good deal. Now, if you can afford to wait, I say wait. Google hypes next dimension of maps ahead of Apple event. 
So we all know that WWDC is coming up soon, and we know that iOS 6 is right around the corner, and we know that Apple is likely going to roll out a new Maps feature and removing Google Maps from the equation altogether. That last part's more of a rumor, but we do know that rumor is founded in fact since Apple has acquired about three mapping companies in the past. It's a foregone conclusion that Apple will be removing Google Maps from the equation at some point in the future. They already did with the iPhoto app. So Google's trying to steal Apple's thunder. Surprise, surprise. And speaking of Apple, apparently, according to Gartner, it turns over its inventory once every five days. Do you know how many products have to be moved for that type of number? That's insane. Derek Mason on Google Plus asked, which Lego set would you recommend I buy? Derek, I say you look at what they have available and then pick something that just speaks to you. And, and I don't mean that the set is actually going to talk. I mean, something that just resonates with you. Maybe you wanna build something grand, in which case buy something with a lot of bricks. Maybe you don't wanna follow directions, in which case buy just a whole bunch of random bricks. Maybe you like the minifigs, much like I do, in which case find a set that has minifigs that you like. TechGeek564 on Twitter asked, Chris Perillo, have you had any issues with Xfinity TV for Xbox 360? I have not. I've used it before, uh, if only because I wanted to try it and I was watching Game of Thrones legally, uh, using that service legally. I have to make sure I say that because some people like watching Game of Thrones illegally. Haven't had any issues. I mean, I think navigating through the system on the Xbox is a bit of a kludge because I have to use the controller and even trying to wave my arms and use Kinect, uh, it's not as easy or as quick as it could be. Even using voice commands just seems to be Difficult. Those issues aside, it hasn't been a problem. Danny led with 21 on YouTube said, I'm thinking Chris is a libertarian. You're thinking correctly. James Russell from the Nomi's community asked, I keep getting charging is not supported using this accessory on my iPod touch. I'm using the charging cable that came with the device. Is there a fix for this? Could be that you're not using the right cable. Could be that the pin connectors inside the iPod touch are broken. Could be that the port you're using is not getting enough power to support charging the device. Any one of those issues? QWERTY the Bold on Twitter said, Chris Perillo, I've watched all your vlogs and I've liked all your vlogs and now there aren't any more to watch and now I'm bored. Stay tuned, we have a new one coming every day. Steve Nam on LockerGnome.net asked, if iPhone 5 were to release this year, would it be worth the upgrade from the iPhone 4S to the iPhone 5? Nobody really knows what's going to be in the next iPhone. We know there's going to be a new iPhone. Is it going to be worth the upgrade? We don't know! Computer Master First on YouTube asked, Chris, how many times did you switch between different operating systems? I've been swimming inside of OS 10 and Windows and a bit of Linux over the past few years, but I've never found myself really switching outright, I mean fully, 100%. 90% of my life is taken care of by Apple. Then again, I'm still waiting for Microsoft to come along with a comprehensive set of solutions that address my needs. The user known as Brother asked on LockerGnome.net, if the Google Chromebook were cheaper, would you buy one? Yeah. Amazement Lion on LockerGnome.net asks, does giving the wrong age matter? Well, it may not matter to you if you want access to a service, but it could get you in trouble. The companies that have these age restrictions have them in place for a reason. Legality! Seth David from the Nomi's community asked, does anyone in here use SkyDrive? How do you think it compares to Google Drive? I'm a huge fan of Google Drive, what was formerly known as Google Docs. And even when compared to SkyDrive, it just seems that Google Drive in relation to Google Docs was set up for better compatibility with collaboration in the cloud. Microsoft's getting there and you gotta give Microsoft credit for releasing an iOS app for SkyDrive. Google hasn't gotten around to doing that yet. I'm sure they will at some point in the future, however. The bottom line is you could use both services. I mean, if you're just using them for storage in the cloud, it doesn't really matter who you go with. Irish Tech on LockerGnome.net asked, is Facebook going to shut down soon? Uh, what? We'll see you later. I even came up with the idea of having burping or farting competitions on Google+. I I I'm sure someone's done it. Or will.